build capacity, we want more people that can run more work, because as we build more people who can run more work, we can run more jobs, we can build and grow the company, we can hire more people and employ more people. So it's in everyone's best interest to build our people so that we can build the capacity. So how did we develop this thing? Um, well, I'm Ruth Ann Ellis and I work for Heiko Construction Group. Um, I am the training and development administrator, um, meaning that my job is to develop training and programming for our field um, people in the organization. So we have um, new people coming on to be trainers because um, our department has just exploded in the last few months. Uh, Ruth Ann's teaching style is awesome. I was able to learn uh, a little bit from her back in Kansas City at the Project Engineering and she has a lot of energy and uh, makes you get involved with everything. Uh, my first thought of coming to the Academy, one of the thoughts was, um, boy, I hope it's not boring, you know, I, I don't want to be tired from the night before and sitting there and try to act like I'm interested. She really makes it interesting for you and helps you get involved and makes everybody feel like they're all on the same uh, level playing field. And I think that's important. So we're not people up here and people down here. Everybody feels like they're the same working with her and she makes you feel really good about it. So I'm enjoying it a lot. One of the things that um, when we designed the training was to make it um, adult learner friendly. And adults learn completely different than kids learn. And what we need is something that is relevant, it needs to be purposeful, and it needs to be something that we can actually see how it's going to help us each, each day in our work. Uh, so what we did is we integrated several different techniques or modalities in our training. Um, one was to make sure that it was hands-on, that there was an activity, it was activity-based, that you could see, and you, you know, we've used, we use everything from Legos to popsicle sticks to 3D printed diagram, um, dioramas. Um, our people do hands-on projects during the class. Um, also, we've integrated, there's, you know, part lecture, but again, also they work in pods or in groups, so they have teams that develop in each academy class, and they work within that team to maybe deliver a speech under the public, in the public speaking portion. Um, once they're in scheduling, planning, and organizing, they'll be actually given a job with blueprints and spec books. They will have to actually roll out the entire project in a long-term look-ahead schedule that will be realistic to what they're doing. Um, one of the classes has actual job site visits where we go and study productivity on the job site where they're going to actually watch and they'll watch other people work and they'll measure their productivity. So it's to gain insight um, in a hands-on type of way, also to keep the class interactive and people engaged in the learning. I'm Samantha Wallace. I've been with SECO for just under two years. I'm a project engineer and I'm currently working on three different projects in downtown Seattle. I was originally interested in the Academy in order to enhance my interpersonal skills, my overall management, and my overall um, well-being as a person to better myself. Um, this morning was actually very interesting, um, the different perspectives that people have generationally um, when it comes to male and female, uh, the way we view each other as we talk. If you have negative connotation towards somebody, you're going to shut them out. So it's, it's definitely been an eye-opening experience. and the. Um, Lego building exercise. I was one of the ones building with no back communication or being able to ask questions and it proved pretty difficult when you can't get clear concise directions without asking questions so it was, it was good. I liked it. I think what's really important to me is that our people know that it's not just training. It's not just where you come in and someone talks at you for a few hours and you leave. Um, the company is investing in our employees. They're making a huge commitment in time and in dollars and in materials to give our people what they need to have to do their jobs. And there are people behind them. Once they walk out the classroom door, it's not done. Um, we're training their, their people to um, help them when they're on the job working. Their instructors, who whether it be myself or anyone else, the instructor's role is to be there for them after the class. So if there's something they didn't understand, or and I get emails all the time. Um, you know, you said in class this, this, and this, and then I'll get an email that says, I'm having a problem on my job site with this guy. How do you think I should handle that? 
I love those emails because we can be supportive them, um, supportive to the employees then so that they can be better at their jobs. And then once they build that confidence level, I know we won't get those emails from that same person, but I know that they've succeeded then. And that's what's important is that everyone knows that we're behind them even after the training is over with.